Hello everyone and welcome to Southern Soul Tarot. So today we are going to be doing a reading that I was discussing with another creator here on YouTube and they were interested in how the reading itself would kind of play out. So it is going to be a reading for Joel Guy Jr. So he was born on March 13th of 1988. So when this video will be premiering, that will be this will be his birth date. So today, uh, when the, again, when the video premieres, it will be Joel Guy Jr.'s birthday. So he's basically an amateur chemist, and he has also been convicted of murder and dismemberment for his parent of his parents. So his dad was 61 years old. That's Joel Guy Sr. And his mother, Lisa Guy, was 55 years old. So he was charged with two counts of abuse of a corpse and two counts of first degree murder, two counts of felony murder. So he stabbed his father 42 times and stabbed his mother at least 31. He's convicted of both murders and that was in October of 2020. So he has life in prison and he was to receive a 500,000 life insurance policy if both parents had ended up dead or missing. So that would kind of be the motive behind it. So um, he did plan uh, this very, very detailed and for a very quite a bit of time, but he planned to dismember, dissolve the remains of his fam, uh, his parents, and clean the house and then burn it. He had left uh, also later on when he had some wounds. He had kind of went and got some items and went to go dress his wounds, so they had found evidence of that as well. So when officers arrived at 1140, uh, 11434 Golden View Lane, the house was for sale, but there was no real estate lock on the door. So some of the doorknobs were removed and placed onto the floor. So fresh groceries were seen on the counters and there was also perishable items within those uh, groceries. So that led them to believe obviously somebody was um, inhabiting the home. So police found Guy's wallet and a sledgehammer along with very many large guns on the table. A pound of the stove was found boiling downstairs, which I do believe later on was found to have, I want to say one of his parents' heads in it. Again, don't quote me completely on that, but I want to say there was a body part in that pot that was boiling on the stove. <clears throat> so whenever uh, the officers went up the stairs, the first one of the first things they had seen was Goal, uh, Joel Guy's Jr.'s hands, uh, dismembered hands, basically on the floor down the hallway. And then as they went further, they had found the bodies uh, basically sitting in tubs, dissolving in uh, very many chemicals, acid, things like that. Again, he was a uh, amateur chemist. So uh, the heat in the house was also turned up to have, want to say, in the 90s, and that was to help the bodies decompose faster. So during the trial, you can very much see he did not have much emotion nor remorse. He was kind of bored with the whole thing. So um, again, he is serving life in prison for the murder of both of his parents, and this is Joel Guy Jr. So again, his birthday is March 13th, 1988. When this video will be premiering, it will be his birthday. So we are going to be using the tarot of dreams to lay the baseboard out then we will be using actually the cocaine tarot to go ahead and clarify because i thought that the pictures and would be good to kind of go with this reading then we'll be using some other oracle cards to clarify towards the end so i'm going to go ahead and move this one to the side for now and then we're also going to move this to the side so we can lay down the waters really quick and then i will put it back on the board so we have a couple different Florida waters to use. We're going to use Archangel Michael because obviously this is a bit of a twisted case and how he, what he did. So we want to make sure we bring in protection from Archangel Michael for this reading. We are also going to bring in other protection because again, uh, he completely planned this. He showed no remorse, so it's very disturbing. So we're going to go ahead and again and lay down a little bit of protection water. And then and we're going to kind of also lay down another water that's going to kind of release a little bit more information if we can get some. All right. So we're going to ask for basically Joel Guy Sr.'s spirit guides to come in with Lisa Guy's spirit guides along with Joel Guy Jr.'s spirit guides and mine. To get a clear picture as to what exactly happened if there's anything they can tell us that hasn't already been brought to light uh, during the trial and any other time so again we're going to ask for their spirit guides to come in with archangels ancestors source and anyone else that can help give clarity to this reading and we want to thank them as well
they're a little bit stuck and heavy, but we'll keep going with it and see what we get. So we're kind of again calling in Lisa and Joel Guy Jr. Spirit Guides to kind of give us a little bit of clarity. Also, Joel uh, Guy Jr. Spirit Guides again with mine. So we kind of want to find out, you know, with the planning leading up to it, what was going on in Joel uh, Jr.'s mind. Why did he want to do, I mean, obviously we know for money, but what else was going on within his mind leading up to the murders and the planning of it? What was going on? Ten of Wands. So that's fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and it is coming out. So it is saying that there was a lot of a burden going on. This could have been again for him with the money. So there, and he did come in, I believe, from college to visit. Uh, so it is showing that he made the movement there and he was ready to lay down a burden. So let's go ahead and see what is the Ten of Wands here for as far as the planning for Joel Guy Jr. Um, against his parents and their murder for the money. Is there anything else you can show us how he was feeling up into the, you know, days and weeks and months of the planning? Because this was a pretty detailed plan, so it wasn't something he came up with overnight. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Because of the nine of wands, pretty much in reverse. So basically, again, more fire energy. He's moving uh, towards a situation because he is wanting to lay down any mental or physical uh, burden that he was feeling at the time. I do feel like uh, the money was something I don't know what he needed the money for. Um, I was not able to find out why he, uh, other than just wanting the money, but it was movements that he was taking because he felt maybe that without, you know, this would take a lot of burden off him physically and mentally. So let's also go ahead and see why he had planned this. Why is the Nine of Wands here in reverse with the Ten of Wands? Why is the Nine of Wands here in reverse with the Ten of Wands for the planning of your parents' murder? So justice in reverse. So it wasn't justified what he did. He knew that it wasn't going to be. With justice in reverse, it's going to represent Libra energy. So that can be court systems, balancing out, fairness, scales. So um, even though I think he knew very well, I mean, he was not um dumb basically he was doing amateur uh chemistry so he kind of was you know he's mentally there and completely understanding what he's doing but so he understood what this was was not justified but he was there's also usually paperwork somewhat within these cards uh just for the justice so i think that's kind of also showing that he was doing this for the five uh, hundred thousand dollars for his parents if they had came up missing so let's go ahead and see as far as the days of the murder, what was going on the days of the murder, how long did this take, is there anything that you would like us to know uh, as far as Joel Guy Jr. and Lisa, is there anything that you would like us to know about the days of the murder? Alright. So you have the two of wands. So there's more fire energy coming in. So they are saying, you know, there was two different directions this could have gone. It could have gone a better direction or a darker direction, and they're saying that their son kind of chose that darker energy. Again, more fire energy kind of coming in. So there's a lot of fire and a little bit of air so far. So um, let's also go ahead and see what the two of wands upright. Why is the two of wands upright for the day, the days of your murder? Why this was all going on before they were able to apprehend him? Can you please tell us why the two of wands is here? Because of the full in reverse, more fire energy, Aries. So again, there's quite a bit of air, uh, fire here. Four fire energies, one more air. So it is showing they do see that their son acted foolishly and kind of went about something the wrong way. So they are acknowledging that that they kind of. I think they felt that that. I don't know if they felt completely that it was coming what he was going to do, but I think they felt that something foolish was coming, and I don't think that they thought they were the two options up here. But they were. And so that's just something they did not see coming. I don't think completely. I don't think they thought he would have done something and taken it that far. So let's also go ahead and see with the full reverse. Why is the full in reverse? Who is it? And why are they here? Why is the full in reverse? Who is it? And why are they here? All right. It's going to be the lovers. Now the lovers came out in reverse. In the, and I don't think this has to pertain to the parents. I do think it is him acting in a non-loving way towards his parents but I do think for them it's kind of like it shook their foundation as lovers that their son would come forth and do something like this to them um so 
I just think that's their immediate feelings right after. There was a broken hardness between them because this was their son who committed the crime to, on them both. So let's go ahead and see, too, where they are. If there's anything they'd like us to know now about his conviction or anything else. Is there anything that you would like us to know about your son's conviction? It is going to be the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I want to say he is a Pisces. So um, that is going to say they are kind of coming out of this Four of Cups energy where they had kind of been waiting for the justification of both of their murder. So that finally happened. They were able to kind of grab this cup finally and move a little bit forward with the sense that he was charged for their murder and was convicted. So with the five of cups in reverse, there is, a, or four of cups in reverse, there is that uh, cup that y'all were kind of staring at and that was his conviction, it happened. So is there anything else that you would like people to know about the situation with your son and how he, what he did and how y'all feel towards it with the five of cups? Why is the Five of Cups here, and what would you like us to know about it? It is going to be the Four of Swords in reverse. So this is kind of like all this information being released. So they are no longer having to kind of rest on this information, wait for it to come in. It's already came in. Uh, again, the swords represent courts. It can represent court systems, um, paperwork. Like I said, basically being charged and convicted, like I said, because, again, they are going to help run the justice system. So that is why Libra runs justice. So that is kind of that energy there. I think that is the information being rele uh, released also with the Four of Cups. You have the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. So you do have four twice over there. So let's also go ahead and see. Why is the Four of Swords in reverse with the Four of Cups in reverse for how y'all are feeling now? Because of the two of coins. So, I do feel like this is a new opportunity, a little bit where they are, to kind of look at what happened in the earthly realm to them a little bit differently. Because these two pinnacles have been kind of, they're lifted up and they are showing that they're not in reverse. So, it, it's something that they, I think they are still working towards. Maybe this is balancing out the relationship with them and their son from the other side and kind of trying to figure out what to do with these pinnacles still. Should they... You know, I mean, of course you forgive on the other side, but I, again, I mean, with the situation, I don't think they've completely come to a close of how to deal with it in the earthly realm from where they are. So let's go ahead and see to, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, cocaine tarot now to clarify. I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. I hope that y'all enjoy it and give you some clarity into the situation. And thank you for the request as well. All right, so we're going to use a cocaine tarot to clarify. Why is the Ten of Wands here for the weeks, days, and months leading up to your parents' murder and how you planned it? All right, temperance. So you have temperance over here. So he is acknowledging the reason he kind of planned these murders was to bring back temperance, fire, and water energy. So more fire energy. <laughs> Leo's Aries, Sagittarius. And then the water is going to be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So then over here, you also have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Can you please show us how you felt this was going to balance out and relieve the situation for yourself? What are you trying to relieve? Just the money aspect or is there something else? What were you trying to get relief from? From the five of coins. So, yeah, it was just all about money. And, again, it was a $500,000 policy, I want to say. So, there's the five kind of validating that. It is showing that it was about money. He felt like he was out in the cold. He was not financially stable. So, he figured he could go ahead and sacrifice them to kind of bring back the water balance energy that he was needing from kind of the impulsivity he brought in with the fire. So, you have justice in reverse because he knows that it shouldn't have been happening. So, with the five of uh, coins in reverse and justice in reverse, what else can you tell us about that? It is going to be the Queen of Wands in reverse. So, the Queen of Wands in reverse is going to be here very much for me to just show that that's how he was looking. I feel like a little bit more towards the mother 
than the father for some reason. Um, but I do think he, you know, he obviously handled the situation with them both the same. So, um, as far as that, there was no, you know, he didn't discriminate on how he handled the bodies, but I do feel like maybe he felt the mother could be a little bit harsher. That might be why there's a lot of fire energy. So he kind of imploded on himself and he felt like they were not genuine lovers or not how they presented things. That could have been how he felt. Um, so let's go ahead and then clarify the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here upright for when the murders were committed the days leading up to your, uh, to his apprehension of it? So the nine of coins in reverse. So he, you know, here's this decision again, murder the, to murder the parents or not to murder the parents over money. So you need to move forward. He's trying to decide to move forward with that, which he did. And the reason he is moving forward is with the nine of coins in reverse. So there is uh he did take quite a while to handle the bodies. He was dissolving them in, I want to say acid and other chemicals upstairs. There was body, uh, body part boiling in the pot on the stove. So he, and then he also had the air turned to uh, the 90 degree area to make the bodies decompose faster. So, and he, again, he was eating there. There was groceries found. So he was not in a rush to get away from the situation he created. Um, it was very foolish. Again, I do think, you know, a bit of that is weighing in that they realized it was foolish. But let's go ahead and see what the Knight of Coins in reverse and the Fool in reverse. What other what energy can you tell us about that? Why is the Knight of Coins in reverse with the Fool in reverse? The Four of Wands are in reverse. So, again, more fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming out again. So, it's almost like saying that the Four of Wands, he did not feel that it was a happy home. So, he had no problem making this move and kind of making this foolish, impulsive jump off the cliff towards his parents that he did not feel he not only did he feel he did not have a loving home he felt like he did not have loving parents as a couple and that this is his perspective of it um not saying that's exactly what was going on that is just how he was viewing it and how he was justifying right here his action within his head so let's go ahead and see what the lovers in reverse why are the lovers in reverse can you please show us why yeah because of three of swords in reverse so he was trying to relieve the heartbreak for himself. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. So again, he was trying to balance out some type of feelings and communications for himself. So he felt by eliminating them, getting this money, that he would have more of an opportunity. You know, so this could be a little bit of his energy there too. So let's go ahead and see with the uh, five of cups or the four of cups in reverse. Why is the four of cups in reverse? Can you please show us why? Because of the Queen of Swords. So this to me would very much say that someone stepped in in the legal system and they did and they went ahead and handled the case. Because again, and they got it, you know, they got him prosecuted and convicted. And so that's where that is coming out of resting on all this information was coming in that they had on him. So that is how they were able to convict him. So the Queen of Swords very much reared her sword and was like, that's enough. You're convicted. Um, you don't go anywhere. You're here for life. So... That is going to be with the Four of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords. Why is that here? Because of the Page of Cups in reverse. So basically, he was their child and he was acting erratic. He obviously acted completely out of it and insane to what he did, pretty much. Um, now, he's not insane, but that's how he behaved. I mean, who, what kind of normal person does that, especially to their parents? So, um, you do have the Page of Cups. If you look at it upright, it's almost like. It, they are having nose dripping, uh, blood dripping out of their nose into the cup. So it shows there is something off with the emotion when it's in reverse. So they are saying, you know, information came out about their son that he was not emotionally stable like he should have been with the page of cups. And so he acted upon them with the two of pentacles. Could he do, would he murder them? Would he not? So that is something that still is kind of lingering there, that energy. So why is the two of pentacles here? Can you show us why? Because of the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, they're kind of just looking still at the situation for what it is and kind of how he handled his pinnacles and where they are, how they're trying to transition through it with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a little bit more of a faster moving sign. Again, that's more fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, someone, um, you know, if it not be them or him or both, they're all trying to move through these feelings in the earthly realm that were created. It looks like pretty quickly, but handle it in a mature way with the Knight. So let's go ahead and do the dark or uh, the Mausoleo of Souls and see what we get.
So you have Overlord of the Abyss. Pestilence, Corruption, and Malice. So I do feel like this is a card that's going to come out towards uh, Joel Guy Jr. And that's the energy that he was carrying when he kind of went ahead and committed these crimes against his parents. So we're going to use the Kipper deck now too and see if there's anything that can come out in that that he would like to show. Or uh, Joel Guy Jr. or Lisa would like to show. Not, I'm sorry, not Joel Guy Jr., Joel Guy Sr. And Lisa would like to show about the situation with their son. So he was not a wealthy man. Wealthy man is in reverse. So that is, again, the motivation and behind this. So, in the motive. So let's see again with wealthy man. Is there anything else that you would like us to know that goes with that? Poverty. So poverty, I mean, that goes with the unwealthy man. So he was trying to get out of poverty. Is there anything else that you would like us to know? Mature man in reverse. So not only was he unwealthy and he was trying to get out of poverty, uh, a, a, you know, a broke situation by taking this life insurance policy from his parents and handling it the way he did. He is very immature, they're saying, too. And he is the main male. So he was the main male. He is the one that committed it. He had admitted to that. So we're going to head and do the dark mirrors as well. Just to see if there's anything else they would like to, to know about the situation. And we'll follow it with the angel answers. And that will be the reading. So again, I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, if you'd like to hit that subscribe bar, I greatly appreciate it. You can be a part of the Southern Zoltero fam. It will let you know whenever videos like this are uploaded, premieres, lives, and unboxings. And we also do uh, questions for members and random free questions about once or twice a month when I have the time to go ahead and do that. So I won't cry for you. So this is going to be their son's energy. So you can see this person is bleeding tears out of the eyes, but they are saying, I will not cry for you. So they have no remorse for what they have done. And then peaceful among the thorns. So he was kind of like this also in court. If you watched him a lot, he seemed very bored with it. He kind of just sat there. You wouldn't even by looking at now he had some kind of crazy eye looks, but besides that, you, by looking at him, he really didn't ever show emotion. So it, he gave off that he was kind of just, well, I guess I'm bored, but again, like he had no huge emotions, but obviously to commit all this stuff, you're a bit emotionally not stable. So with the angel whispers, we'll see if there's anything they have to say. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your guides. Your guides love to help. So this could have just been the situation in general. Maybe there was times that they thought that, again, you know, they realized there was something off with him. And maybe they felt if they would have asked for help, maybe they would have caught it sooner. And they're giving that advice to other people. Is there anything else? One more card, please, since there are two victims in this case. All right, so you are full of love. Now share it with another. So again, they're kind of just promoting, you know, um, you know, giving out love to other people and basically being okay with giving out love and asking for help at the same time, you know, when you are in this realm, because that is very much what we are here for is to help one another, not judge one another. So again, that is going to be the reading for Joel Guy Jr. His date of birth is March 13th, 1988. And... He is charged for the dismemberment of his parents. He has a life sentence. And two counts of, uh, the charges are two counts of abuse of a corpse, two counts of first degree murder, and two counts of felony murder. So again, thank y'all for the request. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon.